Hello and welcome back to Sci Tech. In this video I want to do a two year experiment on these 3D printed flower pots. I want to put them outside in different weather conditions and see how long they last. See if they hold up the same structure as when they were printed, fade, or change color, or warp. And these two materials is PLA and PETG. And I want to see if they can handle being as a flower pot placed outside in the direct sunlight, getting wet from rain, getting wet from watering with a hose, and handling being exposed to dirt and different types of weather conditions. I want to see how they hold up and see if they work. And if this experiment proves successful, then that means I can easily make 3D printed pots to place outside to be able to use for my garden. And I want to test out the theory that PLA cannot get wet because I've heard that PLA should never get wet because if it gets wet, it starts to warp, melt, or degrade. And I want to see if that's true or not. So as you can see, I'm pouring water inside of these two flower pots filled with dirt and dirt has all kinds of microbes and other kinds of things that usually biodegrades different types of materials. And since these are made of plastic, most plastic materials do not degrade within thousands of years. So I want to see if PLA and PETG is the same thing or not. I want to see what happens when they get wet, exposed to the elements and covered with dirt, dirt from the inside and outside. And now the experiment begins. Let's get started. And as you can see, exactly one month later, there was no physical changes, maybe a slight discoloration, but that's only on the outside because it easily wipes off when I get it wet or just wipe it off with my thumb. And you can see the structure is nice and strong. No change in the structure because I've watered these every single day and I can see there's no difference. These are holding up very strong and very well. And now let's continue the experiment and see what happens next. And as you can see, exactly six months later, there is no physical changes. There are no cracks, nothing is melted, nothing has warped, and no discoloration, just some dirt stuck on the outside. And now I put some more dirt inside and watered it, so that way it can have more dirt inside and get wet. And the reason why I'm putting dirt inside is because it will hold water longer, so that way it can stay wet much longer. And now, one year later, and you can see the two materials have not changed, except I need to add more dirt inside. And you can see that they're still holding up just as strong as the day I printed them. Just a slight discoloration, but again, that easily wipes off and washes off. And you can see there is no warps, no cracks, and no melting. Flexing the PLA, no cracking. It's staying just as strong and flexible. Same thing for the PETG. And just a slight discoloration. Doesn't wipe off too easily, but I think I can just wash it off. And squeezing really hard, and nothing is cracking or breaking. So these materials are holding nice and strong, especially you can see that the bottom is exposed to wet dirt all the time. And now it has been two years, and you can see these materials have not changed much, except for the PLA might have changed a little bit. That's only because I dropped the rock inside by mistake, so there's a small crack in it. But the PETG has not changed one bit. And I put a rock inside to keep it from blowing over because I decided to not put dirt inside anymore. I just put a rock inside only because I want to try to expose them to direct heat because this year's summer has been very dry and very hot. So I thought maybe the heat was going to warp them or change them. But I still watered my garden on a daily basis so it continued to get wet. And you can see a slight discoloration. Can't really wipe it off so easily, but I think if I wash it off, I might be able to bring it back to how it was. And as you can see, the PEDG is nice and strong, flexing and not cracking nor breaking, and it did not even melt. So PEDG seems to be very strong and very durable to use as a flower pot especially exposed to the elements for two years. And now let's go ahead and put the rock back inside, put it to the side. And as you can see, the PLA, there's a slight change. You can see that it cracked only because I accidentally dropped the rock inside, which cracked it, but there is a warp inside. And the warping I think occurred because it was exposed during the hot sun and the rock actually got hot from the sun. So because of the rock heating up and during the exposure of the sunlight, it caused a slight warp because of the heat warped the PLA 
because PLA is supposed to melt at a very low temperature, so therefore it can get damaged from heat, but not from water. So water does not damage it, nor dirt does not damage it. Microbes did not damage it, just this rock getting hot from the sun, causing a slight warp. If I didn't put the rock inside, then there would not have been a crack nor a warp. It would be the exact same thing as the PETG. But overall, it does warp when it's exposed to heat. So I find that very interesting. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is bring them inside the house and wash them. Gonna carefully wash both materials and see if I can get them nice and clean and bring them back to how they were when I first printed them. Here we are, these are now nice and cleaned and they actually look very good. I've noticed that maybe, I might be wrong, I'm not sure, but I've noticed that the PETG seems like it absorbed whatever material. You can see that it has some imperfections from absorbing whatever it was that was outside in the dirt or whatever it was exposed to from outside. And you can see the inside, yes, a little dirty because difficult for me to get to from the inside. But overall, this looks like it's a little dull colored, not as bright white as it was when I first made it. Although I might be wrong, I'm not sure. But to me, it kind of looks like it absorbed. And durability is still very good. Still very strong. And now for the PLA, very interesting, slight warp from the rock from the heat. So it does react to heat from the hot elements from outside, being directly exposed to sunlight, does actually warp it. Also, same problem, couldn't clean the inside, but you can still see, very durable, still. And you can actually see that it's actually just as white on the day that I actually printed it. So, PLA versus PETG, it seems like PLA you can actually clean much easier, so it doesn't seem like it absorbs anything. So the only thing I can say about PLA that's not good is that at a certain temperature it can warp or it can get damage from heat. PETG seems like it can handle heat a little bit better than PLA. So if I were to decide which material to use to make a flower pot out of, I would have to say the PETG. Although the PLA is very good, it would be better to use for plants that require shade or partial sunlight. And PETG will be good for plants that require full sunlight. And there you have it. This concludes a two year experiment of using PLA and PETG under certain conditions. And there you have it. Now you know what material to use for flower pots or for similar conditions. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, click on the bell icon to be notified of future SciTitech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.